I think I I don't want to do this, but since she na yung nagsabi, I turn over ko na yung envelope. The envelopes where the money was. Last question, ma'am. At least, Mr. Chair, I would know the Vice President is watching us because she just had a press conference and she said that she's denying giving former Dep Ed Under Secretary Gloria Mercado 50,000 for nine months. And the Vice President saying that Mercado was let go because she used Dep Ed to solicit donations from the private sector amounting to 16 million without her knowledge. And she adds that she will provide the media with paper trail to back up her claim, describing Mercado as a disgruntled former deputy official. I think, ma'am, given your long history and long service to the Republic, 40 long years, I think it's fair it's for you to be sad. given the opportunity to reply um, to the Vice President. I, I think, I, I don't want to do this, but since she na yung nagsabi, I turn over ko na yung envelope. The envelopes where the money was. Comsec. So Paki it's nine envelopes. Kuha po yung envelope. So it says, um, it says hope and the amount is there. Kasi ang sakit naman nun, ordinaryo lang akong trabahante tapos inaano ka ng vice president, di ba? It's very painful. Mamilang taon na po kayo. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> De, gusto ko lang pong malaman kasi sabi po ninyo 40 years na po kayo in I'm government. Si I'm 65, sir, but I... So when the time when you were appointed as uh, USEC, noong 2022 ba? 2022? Mm. How old were you at the time? I was 64. 64. Yeah. I'm sure... Sa edad ninyong yan, after uh, pagkatapos nyo pong pag-ingatan yung iyong uh, pangalan for the past 40 years? Sabutin ko yun. Yes, sir. So, okay, anyway. Um, thank sir, you. I, Mr. Chairman. I'd like to... Mr. Chairman. Um, Mr. Chairman, dito po ako. Ay, Is it Mr. Chairman, can I continue first? Congressman, uh, wait, before I recognize Congressman Paduano, ma'am, Ah, yes. I, I believe... See, with the indulgence of Congressman Asidre, may... Man... Ah, please continue, Congressman. Uh, Mr. Sheikh, can I, we allow uh, Yusek Mercado to continue with her, with her response? Because I was trying to ask her about the 16 million that the Vice President mentioned. Oh, please respond with respect to the 16 million. 1660. 16. 16 million. I would like to respond to that because it's a press con. When I was called for um, by Yusek Sulaika, uh, he said, uh, Yusek Mercado, you have to go because one, you have a teacher in your staff. But I explained to them that the teacher was a contract of services when I joined DepEd. And the teacher has a pending application in Cebu because he's from the Visayas. And while he was working with us, he passed the, he qualified for the RQA. But then when he received his uh, appointment as a teacher, it was already past the opening of the class. Um, it was almost opening and the, the, the teaching uh, load was already apportioned. So I called the RD, I said, can I still keep him? Because he was working on the special hardship allowance, which, is, uh, uh, which was a program that BP Sara also wanted to improve because there's a new hardship allowance and we, just, we were just able to reduce the, the hardship threshold from 0.37 to 0.33. And uh, she wanted the basis for the giving of the hardship allowance, special hardship allowance, <clears throat> um, revisited. So that's why that boy, that 
uh, guy was the one working on it. So I explained, and I, I don't feel at all na guilty ako dun sa sinabi niya. The second one is, uh, he, so like I mentioned that I solicited from two agencies. So I explained to her that it was a program which our, our strand developed. There were two consultants from UNICEF who developed the app. And then we asked our external partnership office to look for external partners who will be, who will be presenting the program because we, we developed the concept. It was DepEd Guru. It's her being able to contact the 980,000 teachers. Parang, parang kahit na saan siya, pwede niyang makausap yung mga teachers. The second one was for us to, to do an uh, electronic mode of the RQA. Parang there's no human intervention anymore. Uh, everyone uploads the, the credential. Even the, even the, the computation of um, the teacher qualification is already is already on an uh, elect, what do you call this? Um, hindi wala na siyang human intervention. So that was the program. It wasn't us who choose who would be the partners who will be invited. It was the external partnership. So we made a presentation to almost all the corporations. And, and then some of the corporations appreciated that it's a very important program. So some of them committed to buy, because what we did is we, we divided the total fund of 16 million into chewable chunks. So if you're interested with this package, ito lang. If you're interested with it, because not everyone naman wanted to, to pay the 16 million. But there were two corporations who were willing to, to fund because we wanted to put one in Mindanao, one in Visayas, and one in, in uh, Luzon. So there were two who committed to, to fund the, the full package. And uh, that was, that was, those were the two corporations that uh, Yusek Sulaika said, I solicited. So I explained properly. I did not solicit. There's no money involved there. These are equipments. Walang cash po doon. Equipment siya na ito turn over sa DepEd. So I'm, I feel very sad that up until now, uh, the BP has not been appraised, as I explained it to her people, that I did, we did not solicit. In fact, the two, the two corporations are willing to, to give an affidavit that I have no solicitation from them of 16 million. So to reiterate, Mr. Chair Ayusek, First, this was a sanctioned uh, DepEd project. It's a DepEd project, Second, yes. you did not do the solicitation yourself. The, this it was, was managed by the, managed external, by the partnership. external partnerships office. Third, no cash uh, donation was ever made. So equipments. Equipments was given to the department. So none of this, what allegations that the vice president's making against you is true. Yes, sir. Yes, Mr. Chair. And thank, that thank makes it very sad because she's saying it now. Ibig sabihin, her people did not explain to her. At least I know she's watching then. She'll probably be able to get the information from you now. Thank you, Yusek Thank you, Mr. Chair.